Tickaboo Mesa, a level up in difficulty in this canyoneering game. Tickaboo is a remote area of southern Utah, overlooking Lake Powell, where self-sufficiency is essential. One corner of the Mesa is known as the Dante Canyons, named along a theme of Dante Alighieri's poem, Divine Comedy, written 800 years ago. The first canyon of the group named, and the closest to the road end, is Purgatory. Purgatory is the recommended starting canyon for the Dantes, being the least difficult, allowing you to settle in and familiarise yourself with the area. But it's not to be taken lightly, it's still a level up in difficulty from the average canyon. There are two forks at the top, you can go in the southern one, down that ramp there. Basketball sized boulder with a tape right to the end. A very nice corridor awaits. Looking back up at the abseil, the pole. It's about 50 feet, maybe 50 yards down the canyon. There's a boulder jumble. Can be down climbed. Looks pretty bad. Looking back at the rappel or down climb. This is only my third Tickaboo Canyon, but the rock does seem very shattered and poor here. It's then a couple of hundred yards walking through a nice corridor to a widening in the next obstacle. The canyon opens quite a bit, and then we're about to go back down into some narrows. Oh, you can definitely climb around this drop, but the rock is terrible. I guess most people rappel underneath the boulder. The rappel under the flat block is about 25 feet, 7 metres. The original name for the canyon was Dave's Not Dead, after rumours of Dave Black's demise from a semi-truck or a bullet. All fiction, but the party celebrated their first descent of the slot by commemorating the rumour and saluting Dave's alive status. The canyon has some nice narrows leading up to the big drop. A series of mini potholes to climb across. Quite beautiful. This lovely section is around 100 yards long with nice sculpted walls that force some easy climbing movements. After 100 yards maybe, come to an arch that's been slung. So a bit of rappel coming up. Yeah right, that's a lot of webbing. Back to the arch. Looking down the rappel, there are three potholes. And it's not long till we're out. What a hard start. There's nothing for your feet in straight into an overhang. The rappel is about 30 metres in three stages, crossing two shallow potholes. Middle pothole. And the third pothole, and on. Looking back up at the rappel from the bottom. This rappel through three potholes is the quintessential photo and possibly the highlight of the canyon. The canyon was entirely dry for me. It shouldn't hold too much water after recent rain. This is the final rappel, little chucks down there. Final rappel. Looking back up at the top of the rappel, and then looking down to the bottom, the pool that you can walk around, step across. To exit, continue down canyon and climb out on one of the ridges. Maybe 10 minutes down canyon. You can climb up Slick Rock here, looking down on the climber's exit, just a friction, probably lower, 5th class, 5.0. The hiking is fantastic, a Slick Rock expanse and breathtaking views. You should have time for another descent in the Dantes, then back to camp on the Mesa. It's a wonderful wilderness primitive campsite with special views across the sandstone for sunset, stars and sunrise.